people are comfortable with distributing uh, multiplication through addition and subtraction, it turns out that division also distributes through. You distribute division through addition and subtraction. And we're going to see that through some examples here. So we're going to divide the polynomials. Now the first one on the left, we have 14x to the fifth over 7x squared minus 7x cubed over 7x squared. So notice 14 divided by 7 is 2, and with 5 copies on top, 2 copies on the bottom, we're just going to be left with 3. In the last part, we have a 7x cubed and a 7x squared. The 7 and the 7's reduce completely. You're just left with one copy of x, and so the final answer is 2x cubed minus x. Now, on the right, Distributing, we have 27u to the fifth divided by 3u cubed minus 18u to the fourth over 3u cubed plus 36u cubed over 3u cubed. So as I look at each one separately, because I'm distributing and doing each one, 27 divided by 3 is 9, and we're left with two copies of u. 18 divided by 3 is 6, and we're left with one copy of u, and 36 and 3 reduced to be a 12. So uh, since it doesn't request for us to factor, let's just leave it like this and say we've done our division here, 9u squared minus 6u plus 12. Why don't you try the next one on your own, pause the video, and see if you can do this problem. Assuming you gave it a shot here, hopefully we got 24a to the 7th over 6a to the 6th plus 36a to the 9th over 6a to the 6th plus 3 over 6a to the 6th. So in the first slot, 24 over 6 is just the number 4, and we have one copy of a. In the next one, had the exponents getting larger this time, so 36 divided by 6 is 6, and you actually had a cubed. And then in that last one, I played with you a little bit more, didn't I? 3 over 6 is actually 1 over 2, so you'd have 1 over 2. And the a to the 6th stays in the denominator, because, uh, yeah, it's just in the bottom when we distributed it through. So there's the final answer to this problem.